welcome i am dr sunil nathamaske working as a professor in pediatrics and dean in dr vithal rao vikke patil foundations medical college and hospital amarnagar today we are seeing very small topic but which is very very important is the doctor's white coat or medical apron i dedicate this lecture to those important persons because of whom i am able to wear this white coat out of that first one is the late dr balasaheb vikke patil who is the really pioneer in education in our area then second one is dr n s maske who was the trustee at prora medical trust and third one my uncle late nuruti patil maske these are the three backbones because of whom i am here now we'll progress to the white coat white coat or a medical apron or a laboratory coat or also known as in short lab coat it is a knee length overcoat or a smock worn by professions in the medical field or those involved in laboratory work the coat protects their street clothes and also serves as a simple uniform the garment is made up from white or light colored cotton linen or cotton polyester blend allowing it to be washed at high temperature and making it easy to see if it is clean the white coat has served as a preeminent symbol of physicians for over 100 years prior to the late 19th century doctors were not white but black garbs physician dress themselves in black and wear painted in a black garb until the late 19th century consequently until about 1900 physicians wore black for their patients interactions since medical encounters were sought of as serious and formal matters possibility for the dark garb might be that until the late 19th century seeking medical advice was usually a last resort and frequently a precursor to death until the last third of the 1800 an encounter with a physician rarely benefited the patient in fact up to that point virtually all of medicine entailed many worthless cures and much quackery in short doctors were the last resource for a patient who is going to die and that symbol of death is represented by the doctor as a black coat you will see in this all ancient pictures the treating person or a doctor or a physician is wearing the black coat while examining the patients in this picture also that physician is wearing the black coat here the physician in black coat is observing the child here also same is in the surgical procedure wearing the all the surgeon's black coat now doctors adopted white coats from the lab scientist before the middle of the 19th century only the scientist who work in a laboratories used to wear the lab coats which were big a pale pinkish yellow color in the middle of the 19th century the science laboratory scientist had damaged the prestige of medicine in short physicians by demonstrating that the so called cures by medicine were worthless thus convicting the in the physicians as a quacks while the scientist were admired by public and rulers physicians were disturbed distrusted at that time so the medical profession turned to science thus physician decided to become a scientist after all it was thought the laboratory's inventions could certainly provide breakthrough advances in curing the diseases physicians seeking to represent themselves as a scientist thus adopted the scientific lab coat as their standard code of standard of dress and the physicians began to wear the most recognizable symbol of the scientist the laboratory coat in the year of 1889 when the lab coats originally black color were adopted by the medical profession they preferred the color of their coat to be white also the other possibility of wearing the white coat 
is from the Joseph Listers. He is a British surgeon who was the pioneer of antiseptic surgery, and the role of antiseptic made the physicians to wear the white coat. Now you will see in this picture the surgeons are wearing the white. Remarkably, this progression was documented in Erkin's 1889 operating theater masterpiece entitled The Agnew Clinic from the University of Pennsylvania. D. has Agnew can be seen in a white smock with the assistant also wearing white, suggesting that a new sense of cleanliness pervaded the environment. Historians say the painting helped popularize white coats among American physicians. The patient is swatched in a white sheet and the nurse has a white cap. This picture is the first picture in the history, also known as the Agnew picture, where the physicians are wearing the first time white clothes. Before that, they were wearing the black. The main mechanism is the antisepsis, which is become famous by after the Lister. And that's why this laboratory's coat, those who are considered as a scientist, were turned to the physician's coat. White versus black. Until the mid 1920s, students who were examining the cadavers would wear a black lab coats to show the respect for the dead. Black lab coats were used in early biomedical and microbiology laboratories. The whiteness symbolizes the pureness. This concept were established in medicine, provided that the environment at the end of the 19th and beginning of 20th century and physicians changed the black for the white coat. The modern white coat was introduced to medicine in Canada by Dr. George Armstrong, was born in 1855 and died in 1933, who was a surgeon at the Montreal General Hospital and president of a Canadian Medical Association. Or unfortunately, I was not able to get his photograph, but he is the first person who introduced the white coat for the physicians or doctors in the Canada. The white coat as a symbol of medical excellence and purity continued to gain momentum as the 20th century progressed. Some believed street clothes help spread germs easily and there are many theories about why white coats become more and more popular for doctors. By 1915, white coats were standard garb for surgeons. By the end of World War II, with the advent of antibiotics, white coats become standard for medical students, residents, and fellows, doctors, and nurses in North America. In the 20th century, the white coat continued as a symbol of medical authority and respect as advance upon advance firmly established the patient-doctor relationship as a beneficial encounter. At the end of 19th and in beginning of 20th century, when medicine became the truly scientific enterprise, we not know, we now know the whiteness or a pureness of medicine become reflected in the garb of physicians and interestingly nurses. Now, the word candor, which means unreserved, honest, or a sincere expression is derived from Latin candidus, which means white. In fact, the foundation of all professional societies is candor or a truth. The term candidate comes from the fact that Romans seeking the public office were the white togas. The depiction of justice over the millennia has been a statue or painting of an individual clothed in a white. The converse, of course, is evil or death depicted in black. In short, some may think that this white apron or white coat is from the Roman togas. Why do doctors wear a white coat? The survey was conducted and some of the answers which were got from that survey are given as follow. Faster recognition by patient, nurses, and other doctors. Large pockets for carrying items such as stethoscopes, diary, pen, torch, hammer. This also protect clothes from being soiled. Emphasis on the status as a physician. Following social expectations from the doctors. 
protecting self against contamination from surroundings and patients as well as infection exuding an impression of cleanliness protecting patient against contamination from self maintaining warm body temperature in often chilly hospitals erecting a psychological barrier and thereby not easily accessible these are the few reasons why doctors prefer to wear the white coat this is one of the type of medical white coat is a hobby style coat it is called such after 1978 report commissioned by uk department of health and social security to codify standard clinical laboratory practices which was chaired by james hobby among the codified standards was a protective clothing the type of a wrap around full coverage lab coat that had been in use in the uk for over 100 years was nicknamed the hobby style coat to indicate its compliance with the provision of this report it has the buttons on the left flank elasticated wrist and a mandarin collar and is quite similar to a chef's uniform it is designed to minimize pathogen contact with street clothes now also there is a controversy regarding the length of the white coat there are various theories as per institutes but common things are white coat length correspond to the level of training a physician has received after completing requirements for medical school dr james finstein has mentioned that short white coat has come to epitomize the role of the medical students dr karnad notes that the length of white coat is a mechanism used by patients to identify the role of each care provided ideally residents wear a mid length white coat only fully licensed physicians wear long white coats at some hospitals all physicians wear the short coat to symbolize their status as a lifelong learner this is very very important thing in other hospital systems coat length is a very accurate indicator the longer the coat the higher the status and experience of its wearer there are certain drawbacks of this white coat or white apron that's why there is just some dilemma or controversy is always going on one of the thing about white coat is the it causes the white coat hypertension this is also called as white coat syndrome and it is used to describe unrepresentative high blood pressure recordings due to patients anxiety upon seeing a doctor in a white coat it also commonly happens in the doctor's clinic second thing image of a white coat has also become so intimidating that pediatricians and psychiatrists generally choose not to wear it in order to reduce anxiety on the part of their patients you will see in the slide that pediatrician while examining the child is not wearing the white coat because it may create the fear or anxiety in the mind of the child as well as this pediatrician and psychiatrist anesthetist also strongly opted for theater clothes they are very used to their green clothes so they don't prefer to wear the white coat few consultants indicated that they were suits to make themselves stand out from the more junior doctors as all junior doctors has to wear the apron that is a white coat so senior faculty member they want to be in the different dress so they wear the black or a blue what your con other color dress ma so these are the three four problems regarding the white coat but in still many institutes many schools this white coat ceremony is done the timing of this white coat ceremony differs along with the culture of the institute this white coat ceremony is started in 1993 by dr arnold p gold who was a teacher and pediatric neurologist who created the first full fledged white coat ceremony at columbia university college of physicians and surgeons before this ceremony medical students typically received the hippocratic oath for the first time at commencement this ceremony marks a change in tradition introducing students to the oath before starting their first year of the study this was intended to provide students with well defined guidelines regarding the expectations and responsibilities appropriate for the medical profession prior to their first day of class so pioneer for this white coat ceremony is was the dr arnold pigold 
Also, this white coat ceremony is a ritual in some schools of medicine and other health related fields that marks the student transition from the study of preclinical to clinical health sciences. At some schools where the students begin meeting patients early in their education, the white coat ceremony is held before the first year begins. Moreno Valley College has a white coat ceremony for the physician assistant students at the end of their final term where the short coats are discarded and long coats are given as a symbol of being equal clinicians to other who have earned the long coats. In many medical schools around the world, students begin wearing their white coats during first year anatomy class. So there is no official white coat ceremony. By giving them this powerful symbol of compassion and honor is the main aim of this white coat ceremony. It also gives them a standard against which they must measure their every act of care to the patient who trust them. Now, this is regarding the white coat versus not to wear the white coat. There are certain studies where they have mentioned wear, whether, whether to wear the white coat or not. Major et al. has studied the attitudes regarding surgeons attire in American Journal of Surgery in 2005, where it is concluded Patients expect surgeon to be dressed in a white coat with a name tag and to be addressed by their surname. Patients do not want their surgeon dressed in a blue jeans. Second study, Landry M. et al. has studied the white coat's place in the medical profession in Oshner Journal in 2013, where it is concluded patients prefer white coats and they contribute to greater comfort and confidence in their physicians. In short, about summarize this white coat or medical apron. Prior to the late 19th century, physicians were black, similar to clergy. Antisepsis and the rise of scientific methods in medicine lead to the shift to white coats. Ironically, a debate now rags about risk of transmitting infection from white coats. Today, the white coat is a symbolic of humanism and professionalism in medicine. Patients sometimes prefer the white coat to more casual dress, but this is highly variable. The white coat may symbolism hierarchy within the medical students, doctors, and other health professionals. It may be symbol of power and trust. And last but not least, it is a symbol of professionalism, a symbol of humanism, or purely tradition. So this was a very important short topic about the medical coat or medical apron. Now, it is individually to be decided where to be wear or not to wear the medical apron. But when you are wearing the medical apron, it should be given respect. While wearing, it should be properly ironed. It should be properly clean. It should not be used out of the hospital or out of your OPD or premises. And it should not be thrown like any cloth. This is the respect to the medical apron. So, as a purity and humanity and trust gives the symbol of symbol by this medical apron. Thank you.